Hello and welcome everybody, Brain Damage here and we're back for another episode of Oh My God It's Aram. This is actually episode 3 now of the series, so if you haven't seen number 1 and number 2, go ahead and check them out. So for this week I actually decided that I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Now I've seen that there's a new spectator mode out, uh, mode out and I've not checked this out yet so I thought why not go ahead and take the opportunity to do that now. So I will not actually be playing in this game but I will be um, spectating it and giving you some commentary over the top. So as you can see here it's actually running on a delay timer and it sort of counts down from two and a half minutes and um, yeah just to introduce who we've got today so we've got Brand, Timo, Ashi, Uder and also Shivana on one team the other team is Kale, Katrina, Sivir, um, Zillion and also Kogma and um, yeah so these are the teams and I'll see you back on the battlefield because I'm pretty sure none of you want to see the loading screen right here so we are back on the battlefield with some more footage and this is the spectator mode so forgive me if I don't know what I'm doing yet with the spectator mode as is it um, this is the first time for me using it so I am just trying to get a feel for what is actually happening and checking out everything looks very nice you can actually see both teams along the side here with the chosen summoner spells of each champion and the same thing for the opposing team on the other side now the whole map is obviously um, covered up I mean I think down here I can turn on and off fog of war so we will actually be able to see the jungle and everything but for the purposes of this game I don't think it's actually necessary as both teams will be primarily fighting in the middle now by the looks of things there's actually someone missing in um, team, I don't know, how should we call them? Let's call them the purple team and the blue team as we've got purple up here and blue up here. So um, in, the blue uh, in the purple team, sorry, <laughs> actually Zeus Kid has um, left the game by the looks of things and I think that was Kogma, but I'm not entirely sure there. And yeah, so it's 4 versus 5 at the moment. Hopefully this guy will come back in just a second so we can get a fair and even game here. And yeah, there's going to be lots of, uh, lots of action happening in the middle right here because this game is obviously Aram and there's always a lot of pressure right from the early stages of the game as both teams are all in the middle basically, all champions in the middle. So, you know, this is... <laughs> heating up a little bit here and both teams kind of hesitant to jump in just trying to harass the enemy team a little bit to get just a little bit of damage onto them um, now just to go into the rules quickly for those of you that don't know what is actually going on so here we go Zeus Kid is reconnected it's actually Kale so he's back now and hopefully we should be able to get an even game on the go in just a minute and um, yeah in terms of the rules let's go into that quickly so you're not allowed to use any snowball effect items such as uh, Magi Soul Stealer for example any item that really sort of uh, stacks up like uh, ability power or anything like that um, through kills that you acquire or assists and um, one of the other rules is obviously that you're only allowed to stay in the middle lane so that means no bush jumping, no um, jungling or using any of the outside lanes basically you're not allowed to use any other area than the mid lane and also um, yeah you're not allowed to go back so the only way for you to go back is basically if you have um, if you are dead, <laughs> yeah, if you die basically, sorry, I just lost my trailer thought there because I'm trying to look out for the game in case there's going to be a sneaky first blood happening there somewhere, but both teams seem to be sort of um, fairly even right here in terms of uh, the engagement, I mean the um, blue team obviously up a little bit right here, I'm just going to call them actually the green and the red team because it makes it a little bit easier from the health bars as you can see right here, um, so we've got a green team actually slightly ahead just probably because Kel wasn't there in the early stages and also they did get harassed quite a lot in the early stages of the game so they obviously lost a little bit of health right there and um, yeah both teams not really playing too aggressive I mean that's too expected they've all got one spell at the moment and there's not really too much that you can do or a lot that you can do with one spell 
But nonetheless, um, still going to be an interesting game, I think. Um, looking at the champion selection, we've obviously not got any tanks in this game. Although Zillion's ultimate will be coming in quite handy. So as you can see, um, Brand actually just took the first blood there quite sneakily on Kogma. Getting a nice shot off and uh, managing to take, uh, to take him out there. Now, Kale is also looking really, really low right there. And Sivir just about to go down as well. So Kale actually not being careful at all. And I think Brand should be able to take him out. But no, that was a little bit too greedy, ends up getting hit by the tower and getting caught out by the enemy team and they managed to pick off that kill. So that puts the score up to 2-1 um, for the green team actually because um, I missed a kill there, I'm not sure, someone else managed to score a kill. So let's have a look at the tab down here, obviously you can see quite nicely which items both teams and each hero are purchasing and then also the score, so Brand actually managing to pick up two kills there and Ashley also managing to pick up a kill there which I just missed because I wasn't really paying attention. Apologies for that, I hope I'm not going to miss any more of that and um, yeah, let's get back into this game and see what's happening basically. So. Um yeah, as you can see, like, uh, the red team right here has got quite a lot of health pots um, stacked up, so I think they're going to be very durable. Obviously, both teams um, stacked up on health and clarity. There's the new summoner spells. Um, there's actually one new summoner spell out. Well, you could argue that it's two, because one of the ones got transferred from Dominion and seems to have been opened up for the normal game as well now so it is two basically and then also the new masteries have been released now i've had a look into those obviously um jumped straight in and made myself tons of room pages uh room pages mastery pages and um just tested out a few different ones and i've got to say i found quite a few nice combinations so i'll probably be doing like a little video about that as well just showing you the new masteries and um yeah, how you could basically use them with which heroes and Brand actually going down there, quite nice pick off by, um, who was that? That was Sivir picking off Brand there, but then also Shivana managing to grab a kill on Sivir and also Timo managing to grab a kill on Katrina, putting the score to 5-2 and giving the advantage to the green team at the moment. So, um, continuing on and having a look what's happening here, Udia with that bomb, they need to be careful, Zillion very dangerous, especially if he's got quite a lot of ability power stacked, Zillion actually having quite a lot of attack damage there, only one ability power, so I'm not sure, all of these people are level 30, I'm pretty sure he should have more unless he's gone for a complete build in the utility tree, it's kind of hard to say at the moment because obviously the new masteries have just been released and no one's too familiar with what exactly they do yet. But um, Ashi nearly got taken out there, that was pretty close, Brand just getting quite a bit of damage there, also taking another shot from that bomb. Um, Shivana jumping in there, a little bit too greedy, should have maybe not engaged so greedy there, just to try and save that health. Then <laughs> It's quite funny, Brand actually not, um, well I think he was trying to run away, but basically his teammates were following him more or less, so they all got um, hit by the bomb when only Brand should have taken the damage really, as the bomb was placed onto him. So if the green team's not going to be careful here, they're actually going to get taken out in just a minute. And Timo getting a hit there, getting slowed by Kel, very nice, Katrina jumping in for the kill, managing to pick him off, also Sivir scoring another kill on Brand, make, um, equaling the score out to 5 versus 4. So um, all possibilities are still open, I'm pretty sure this is actually looking like a pretty interesting game, so we'll be able to see who will take the upper hand there in just a minute. Or well, maybe it'll take a few more minutes, but you guys I'm sure know what I mean. Now, um, I usually do these series on, or release the footage on a Friday and um, do all the recording for it on a Thursday. Now, if you guys want to get involved and actually play yourselves and or play with me, then um, just get in touch with me over my YouTube channel. Send me a pri um, private message or something and I'll get back to you and we'll arrange something to get in touch basically to be able to play together um, now I mainly do these episodes on North America as my EU account is only level 12 and I'm just leveling that up to level 30 at the moment so Udia actually not being able to get picked off there that shield I think saved him from dying but um, Sivir actually running after him quite greedily getting caught off by the rest of the team and um, also a lot of engagement going on right here, I'm trying to keep up with everything, this is actually the first time that I'm sort of casting a game like this, so I'm hoping I'm not performing too bad and doing 
sort of okay and um, these people really need to watch out that they're not running into their teammates too much with that bomb on their head because that's obviously a lot of damage that they're taking right there although you know all of them have got a heal so they can heal up pretty nicely <laughs> although they're all on uh, cooldown at the moment so they won't be able to heal up for just a little while until that cooldown's gone again and um, yeah I'm not sure why these guys like Shivana there for example um, keep running so close to the enemy team so greedily same for Udia right there I mean it's okay but then again someone like Katrina could just jump in shrimp or blade you and that's the end of that you're pretty much dead so Kale actually managing to pick off Brand there because like I just said went too far forward just a little bit too greedy and also actually getting a kill off on Katrina because she didn't watch out now this is actually a very action-packed game Ashley getting picked off because she tried to get that kill on Sivir which was in my opinion again way too greedy because Sivir had a shield and yeah there was three other teammates waiting there Kogma oh my god there's so many kills happening man Kogma actually scoring a double kill right there which was quite nice and the um, score is now 11 to 10. Um, the green team has actually got 12.2k um, gold right now and the uh, red team 11.3. Now uh, Timo just managed to pick up Kale there because Kale obviously ran into the tower and didn't watch out enough. And um, <laughs> yeah, he basically was a bit stupid there. Now Brand just uh, quite nicely getting um, Zillion there because he is obviously too far forward. I mean in this game I can really see it in this game particularly that these people are just playing way too aggressive. I mean you need to play aggressive but if you really don't have a lot of health left or barely any health then just kind of play passive for a while let your health regenerate and come back into the battle. I mean it doesn't mean that you're losing experience or anything like that because you know you can get close enough to the minions and you see when they're about to go down so you can kind of pop your head in every now and then just to grab those um, few points of experience whenever one of the minions goes down so it's definitely possible I mean um, what people should be doing is playing sort of like Kel but then again I think Kel might just be AFK for a moment there as he's not moving at all but that's sort of around where it should be for example Kogma now should be definitely playing a bit passive I'm not sure why Zillion actually pulled that ultimate on him there they can see it I think they're waiting for it to finish off yep and now going in for the kill oh he didn't turn around but Brand actually managing to pick him off there so quite nice to pick up the kill because that was I would say pretty fail from um, Zillion to put that ultimate on him so early now Sivir, you can't go around the back, you're actually cheating right now, you're cheating, that's below brush height. Also Zillion in the brush, what the hell is going on, people, why are you cheating? Brand trying to chase them off, is going to get taken out now by that bomb, I'm pretty sure. Oh, actually didn't get taken out, I think he just had a heal there or something like that. And then um, trying to put some more pressure on Udia running in, trying to take out one of these guys, but then ends up getting taken out himself. Ashley picks off Sivir as she's just coming back through the brush. And this seems to have turned into a complete cheater game right now as both teams are going for... Well, I thought he might have gone for the minions, but no, Brand's going back into the lane, so... Um, has the purple team, well the red team returned back into their lane so I hope we can continue this game on normally um, ooh, Kel actually getting taken out there by Brand Ultimate, very nice bouncing about, few of those minions and back to Kel right at the le very last hit, managing to take him out there so that was a very nice ultimate there and a well deserved kill for Brand now in terms of what else is going on here it's kind of hard to say as both of these teams are cheating I mean it's still fairly equal I'd say I mean 17 to 12 is no reason to quit the game just yet and say you can't come back from this although I'm not really sure what exactly they were playing at just a minute ago when they ended up going into the brushes so Ashi Arrow um, ultimate actually managing to stun Sivir there but the team by the looks of things not quite managing to pick her off Shivana jumping in actually managing to pick off Sivir just about just surviving herself and also managing to um, 
actually actually also managing to pick up uh, Zillion and Kogma there and Kogma in return scoring a double kill on Ashi and Brand. So this is actually a very action-packed game, a lot of uh, kills, I mean I'm really trying to keep up with everything that's going on but it's very hard when you're <laughs> commentating and haven't done this before so yeah I hope you guys are not bored yet and um, still enjoying the show so um, stay tuned for loads more other stuff to happen basically. Um, yeah, let's talk a little bit whilst there's not a lot going on here. Let's talk a little bit about plans for the future. So I've actually got quite a lot of plans for the future. Um, not going to give away exactly what I've got planned, but also getting close to 200 subscribers, which means I'm going to prepare to do another special video for you guys. Udi actually needs to watch out before he gets taken out there, but then manages to back off just in the last moment. And um, Ashley coming in there, picking off Kale because he wasn't careful, should have backed off. I mean, Ashley's really doing a lot of damage. She's got BF sword, and uh, if you look at the score right now, I mean, Ashley on eight kills. That is very nice. That's pretty fed, I would say. Also, Sivir just managing to pick up that ultimate from Zillion there. Um, not enough for Katrina though. She ends up getting taken out. Also, Zillion ends up getting taken out. And if Sivir is not careful, she will probably be taken out in just a minute as well. Oh, that was very close. Just missed her, and um, she seems to survive just by the the skin of her teeth, basically. You know. Um, so. Oh, Shivana actually tower diving there on her own, jumping in all the way, also trying to pick off Kogma. It's not quite going to happen, although she doesn't die herself. So, very nicely done there, managing to grab yet another kill for the um, green team and putting the score to 24 to 17. So, um, you can really see that it's kind of snowballing into a advantage, into an advantage for the green team right here as the red team seems to just um, not quite be able to catch up with the other team in terms of like the health of the tower also blue team is a little bit ahead I mean it's not too far you can push that through quite easily so still all the possibilities are open I mean the difference in gold at the moment is only 3k but then again bearing in mind you're only playing mid lane so it is not as easy to catch up on that unless you're really getting a lot of kills fast and um, Quite often, if you don't get those vital kills, then it can, uh, can end up costing you the game. So, um, yeah, in terms of the heroes and the uh, major damage output from both teams, let's see. At the moment, it looks like we've got Brand, who's sort of on 7-6-7. Seven, seven. He's got the ring and the hat. I mean, that allows for very high damage output. Also, Ashi has already got a BF sword, so that's definitely a lot of help right there, you know. And... Um, Big engagement happening again here in the middle, Udia not getting taken out of the back there, Brand Ultimate doing a lot of damage to the enemy team but not quite managing to take anyone out. Um, Zillion gets stunned there by the Ashley Ultimates, uh, Sivir just surviving again, so lucky. I mean they definitely should have taken her out in my opinion, Zillion not quite managing to dodge that um, shot from Ashi and getting taken out himself. Also at the tower, big engagement there, Kogma killing um, Shivana and um, Timo also just picking off uh, Sivir and Kogma in return, also getting another double kill on Brand, whole oh, triple kill, so he's getting actually a triple kill here on these guys, I mean you can see over here. I'm trying not to mention. All, I'm trying to mention all of the names, but I do quite often miss some because obviously there's a lot happening. So um, congratulations to Kogma there for just scoring an ace for his team. Um, very nice, which will um, actually help the purple team to get back into this game. But you can see there's still eight kills behind and um, 5k gold now. So the difference is getting higher and higher and higher. As I said, you know. Um, Penta, he's saying Penta, grats, am I missing something here? I really need to check that. Quad oh my god, it was actually a Penta kill, I completely missed that. I didn't realise he actually picked off every single person there, nice one. So, another Penta kill special, I'm not sure what's going on at the moment, but we've got a lot of Penta kills going on in these Aram games. As you saw, episode 2 also had a Penta kill in it, if you haven't seen it yet, go ahead and check it out. I recommend anyway starting at the first episode and gradually building your way up to... Aram episode 3 where we are at the moment, I'm sure there's going to be loads more to come so um, stay tuned. And here big engagement again also um, by the looks of things, what have we got? We've got a 3-2 trade, no, no not quite, not quite, no so it's 2-1 to one trade actually, um, I thought they were both going to die there but just survived. 
Uh, Cogmas ultimate very dangerous at this point in the game because it's obviously got such a huge range and um, if used well then you won't really be able to get away from that. Um, Katrina trying to take out Udia there but Udia just saying dude what the hell are you doing man I've got my shield I'm going to jump into that tower kill you and get the hell out of there without taking too much damage so Katrina quite stupidly trying to jump in there and make it happen but uh, ends up getting taken out herself there. Now I think this is just a matter of time before the um, green team actually pushes through and ends up taking the game but then again it's hard to say as all possibilities are still open Ashi literally just surviving there very closely because um, Kale just getting a nice shot off with his little slow I'm um, not actually sure what the attack's called but I'm sure you guys will know what it is what I mean the little red blob that basically slows the enemy and puts a little bit of damage onto them Shivana is she gonna get taken out by that bomb no not quite enough damage and in the middle there a lot of people dying we have got uh, Kale, Brand, Udia and also Zillion dying and um, the score is actually now getting ahead for the other team but Sivir manages to claw back one, is she gonna get that? Too greedy in my opinion. She did get the kill but ends up dying herself as well, putting the score to 37 to 28 and actually catching up just a little bit by that one kill and we've got another quadra kill so this game is actually crazy filled with like quadras and pentakills and um, quadruples and god knows what else we'll see what else is coming so Katrina just um, on her own here right now being able to quite easily push through the tower securing yet more gold for her team which is really needed to catch up into this game again because obviously their tower has gone down which gave the enemies a small advantage for a short time but then that's only for those that actually died and went back but I'm pretty sure since this game's so action packed that all of them have died by now and uh, managed to go back and get some more items Katrina getting taken out there because of that very nice Ashi um, ultimate but then again Zillion managing to get his ultimate onto Katrina saving her just temporarily but she does end up getting taken out again and um, Shivana actually managing to score a double kill right here as well and um, yeah so the enemy team's really starting to push through again I mean I'm not even sure why I'm saying enemy team as I'm not playing on either of these teams but uh, it just felt like the right thing to say in that situation which it obviously wasn't so um, yeah so let's see what else is going to happen here they're going in for yet another tower dive are they going to pick off Kogma exhaust on there should be able to make it happen Udia and Shivana no match for um, no Kogma no match for Udia and Shivana they can just run through the towers and get that kill Katrina coming back now trying to score that kill on Shivana but the enemy uh, enemy team again no but the green team all of her teammates are waiting there for her to protect her so um, <laughs> yeah she actually manages to get into safety right there so they're just hovering around outside of this tower area now. Now some people argue this, I mean there's uh, different ways to play this game, everyone's got their own set of rules these days anyway, I mean so many people say you're not allowed to do this, not allowed to do that. Katrina picking off uh, another double kill right there and um, what is happening? We've got Kale getting taken out, we have got Katrina getting taken out and the upper hand going yet again to the green team. So it really seems like they are dominating this game now, I mean they are 16 kills ahead so that is quite a lot now. They have got two towers down, the other team has got one tower down, the gold difference is also mounting up now so you can really see that this team is starting to get quite far ahead. The hero champion composition is also very nice I've got to say, I mean they've got Udia who can sort of act as the tanky role because he's obviously um, not the squishiest Charles. It's not the squishiest of Charles and um, also Shivana is very nice carry so um, should be able to make it happen there although Shivana gets herself end up caught uh, gets herself caught in the base of the red team and gets taken out as there was no way to escape for her just there. So apart from that little bit of cheating that we had just at the beginning of the game it seems to have actually evolved into a quite nice and very interesting game with quite a lot of action. So I'm actually really happy that I ended up joining exactly this game to cast it as this seems a very interesting game to um, cast obviously. And yeah, I hope you guys are not bored by now. I mean, I was thinking about making these Aram games into um, 
kind of little short montages. So <laughs> Timo actually quite stealthily snuck away there. Enemy team not realizing that he's sitting there. And um, I was actually going to make these into montages and only show the best moments. But then again, it's kind of hard with a League of Legends game. And I thought, I'm sure there's some people that actually want to see the game in full length. And if you find that there's some boring parts, then just skip them. But like I said, this game is so action-packed, as you can see. There's so many kills happening constantly that it is really <laughs> not wise to skip any parts. Otherwise, you'll probably end up missing all of the good parts. And... Um, yeah, the engagement actually end up, ends up working out quite well again for the green team. Udia gets taken out, so equaling out there. Ashley ultimate misses. Um, Shivana just trying to take off Kale there. Kale ends up going down. I'm sure she will be able to get Katrina as well with that exhaust securing that kill quite easily and managing to just uh, pick her off in just a second. So there we go. She's actually managing to pick her off. I think that was just a killing spree. Okay. So, no more triple kills, quadras, or um, penta kills at the moment, but maybe we will see another one towards the end of the game, which would be insane, seeing as the amount that we've had already. Um, yeah, why try to run out the sides? But then again, Brand nicely managing to stun her right there in her place, so she can't even escape out to the side, cheat, and they pick off the kill before she can do anything about that, and just put more and more pressure on. I mean, there's quite a few minions there as well now. The inhibitor is not yet down, the tower is not yet down, so they still have a little bit of defense, but actually putting a lot of damage onto Kale there, he just dropped pretty quickly. Brand just on the side hovering there. I mean, in my opinion, that's still okay. This area, I would say anything sort of up to the second pillar is okay because it's still within sort of the sight and the bounds of the game. And it's the same as sort of brush height, yeah, and everyone says up to brush height is okay. So, you know, there's no set defined rules, so everyone kind of makes up their own rules, although you should really just kind of bind yourself to the standard rules that are used in this game and just kind of use your imagination a little bit in terms of how far you should be able to go out or not um, within reason that is obviously <laughs> so um, yeah the enemy team mostly dead just waiting to revive um, Udia probably getting caught up on his own right there just as a thought and Kel does not quite manage to pick him off there such a shame should have actually gotten that kill in my opinion um, I was just getting saved by Kelly's ultimate <laughs> and Zillion's ultimate, so nothing was killing Sivir in that moment. They could have dropped an atomic bomb on her head, and I think she would have been fine regardless. So, let's see what else have we got here. We have got the red team pushing up again, trying to make a last stand. They really need to make something happen. Oh, that was very close. They actually just... Oh, and he gets a sneaky kill off. Uh, sneaky kill, sneaky shot. Yeah, sneaky kill, same difference. You know what I mean. So... Just um, managing to get that off there. CV recalling, that's interesting. So people are really starting to cheat right now. Nah, that's not what we want. People, why cheat? Come on, just be honest. Kel, nice kill on Brand right there. <laughs> Timo just standing there in stealth, actually getting hit, nearly getting taken out by Kogma's ultimate as it has got such a high range. Now, um, Kogma actually nearly managing to pick off Ashi there with the help of Katrina's ultimate, but it wasn't quite enough damage. Kel is going to die, I'm pretty sure. Picks up the kill himself, ends up dying. The tower goes down as well. So they end up equal equalizing the score on the tower count and actually starting to make a little bit of a comeback right here as they did quite a nice push three people left over at the front Zillian making his way down again so they will be able to push through that tower in just a moment and um, over here we've got Brand and we've got Shivana. Shivana seems to be AFK or something like that I'm not sure she's not been moving for a while now so let's hope she's going to join back into the game in just a minute and help her team out to try and make this win happen if not that could well be the end of the game for this team as like I said you know it's always very hard to predict who's going to win because of back doors and I don't know just good team play can just literally turn around pretty much any game regardless of how bad you're doing if you really focus on getting back into the game obviously you're not allowed to fail too many times otherwise that's the end of that so a nice stun there by Ash Ultimate Shivana using the opportunity to jump in and just pick off two people also, Ashi, I think, came in from the back there and cleared off someone there. Kogma getting taken out in the end by Timo, and now that puts the score to 
62 to 42 so they are taking advantage of their lead again 62 to 42 that's 20 kills ahead in terms of gold we're almost talking about 10k difference in teams as well which is really starting to show now as you can see right here got a few slight problems tower here is down tower here is still alive tower here is still alive tower here is still alive which means that the um, purple team is actually at a little bit of a disadvantage because the minions on the side lanes have pushed through the tower and there's nothing they can do about it which puts them just that tiny little bit more behind but then again I did mention that in my first episode of oh my god it's Aram that this is quite a common problem in this game mode obviously as there's no specific mid only lane game mode for this Katrina very nicely jumping in there almost like the last episode managing to pick up a double kill I think that actually was a triple kill getting no everyone got a piece of the pie it looked like Katrina picked up all the kills but it were actually shared throughout the team so yet again defending quite nicely trying to pull back reducing that uh, difference in gold just to about um, 8k still very big difference but um, yeah we'll see man they can still do it they can still do it, it can still happen someone's telling Timo to recall I don't think that's a very good idea although yes the inhibitor is pushed through now this is one of the rules where people argue as well, once the inhibitor is pushed through you're allowed to go back and heal up again as the other team's got the advantage of the minions and it will allow you the chance to get back into the game, some people like it, some people don't. Like I said, the rules in this game are not very set, it's all very blurry in terms of what you can do, what you can't do, it usually depends on the host and what rule he's, rules he's basically playing with but then again if you're playing with any special rules other than standard you should mention that before the game starts so all the players are aware of that and they know what's basically allowed and what's not so you don't have any problems throughout the game. Now here we go the green team just coming in annihilating the enemy team and um, Metafame also actually got a triple kill right there I'm just trying to find out who is Metafame that's Udia so very nice very nicely done Udia got a triple kill there on the um, red team allowing your team to push through yet again and hopefully this will um, decide the game as I'm pretty sure this game is actually more than over they should have taken their opportunities a lot better because then they could have finished that game by now I think three times over if they wouldn't have just pushed so greedily at some points and basically ended up losing a lot of their players they should have just fell back regenerated up, waited for those ultimates to come back and then engage again when you have got a full fully prepared and ready to take on team basically so let's see what we got here they're trying to make yet another push back CV ultimate very nice it helps everyone on their team Katrina jumping in with her ultimate I think she's gonna get that kill off on Shivana yeah just manages to pick her off but then again ends up going down herself Udia getting killed by Kogma by the looks of things Kogma actually being able to kill up, uh, pick up a double kill here. Is he going to make it happen? Probably not by the looks of things. They both end up getting, well, CV ends up getting stunned and then they both end up getting picked off by Ashi as that was very nice turnaround with her ultimate. But then that sneaky little Kogma ultimate, I hate it when he turns into that poisonous worm that just explodes at the end and bits venom all over you, kind of like a little baneling from Starcraft 2 if you have played that game you'll know what I mean um, but yeah very acidic just um, eating up all your health basically and Kale coming in here managing to take that one kill almost getting the kill on Teemo and I'm sure he would have been able to pick off Udi as well but it just wasn't enough and he ends up dying before he could actually take them out because Kale with his AoE damage actually can do quite a bit of damage so I'm pretty sure he would have been able to pick them off there if he maybe would have used his attacks just a little bit smarter than he did but um, nonetheless he managed to pick off that one kill equaling it out to 1-1 one, one for him in that engagement there but nonetheless they are 24 kills behind and the lead for the green team is obviously building up further and further as I keep saying it's a kind of snowball effect it just builds up regardless of what you do it's very hard for the enemy team to pull up because of the sheer advantages they've got there and Katrina quite nicely managing to pick up a double kill right there on Udia and Timo as they were basically <laughs> I would say almost failing they should have just pulled back earlier as none of their team was there it was an engagement 3 to 2 they should have looked at the numbers done the math and figured out that they were behind and shouldn't have engaged right there now 
I'm going to be able to pick off the inhibitor there, maybe not, as that was a very nice ultimate from Ashi yet again, taking out Katrina there, and then they just managed to pick off Sivira at the end, but not managing to save their inhibitor as the super minions managed to push through, and then Kogma and Kale now managing to take off Ash, um, Ashi and um, Brand. So that's allowing their team to basically push through as only Udia and Shivana are able to defend at the moment. Shivana seems to be AFK quite a lot and Udia is also available, Udia and Timo, so they can actually take the role of defense. Kogma getting taken out because, yep, he was too greedy yet again. And um, Kel probably getting taken out as well because of the fact that Udia was clamped to his ass so he couldn't get away basically. <laughs> Now this is turning into a rather long game, I'm actually thinking about whether I should just kind of stop the cast, but then again, I'm sure some of you want to see the end result and the full game, so I will be bringing you the full game. If you have any suggestions in terms of the length or what I could do to make it more interesting or um, more watchable for you guys, then basically just leave that in the comments below, tell me what you think, I read all the comments, or at least I try to if I don't get overwhelmed by comments, which usually doesn't happen as I'm not nowhere near a big subscriber base at the moment, so um, yeah, and here we go, they're actually managing to push back again, Ashi Ultimate, you just keep seeing that fly in, there's pretty much always when you can see that ultimate flying in, a kill being got somewhere and um, they end up taking out everyone, Sillian saving, saving himself with his ultimate but then ends up getting taken out by Ashi regardless as he was not able to get away as soon as he got revived. So, the green team on the push again, this just seems like dominoes, you know, it's like up, down, up, down, up, down, they keep pushing. <laughs> and now, um, Kel and Kogma coming back for another small engagement, probably getting, yeah, managing to pick off Brand as well, they're taking those two kills back. And it's just like this back and forth engagement, I mean, I'm really not sure why these teams are just kind of trying to wait for the whole team and make like a push through and finish off the game, but then both teams just like keep streaming up units well streaming up units streaming up champions and um, just kind of like feeding one by one engaging in small little battles here and there getting picked off and um, yeah for example here yeah there's only two of them I mean the uh, green team is going to be reviving very soon so they're all going to be back to help they should really think about uh, pulling back right now just waiting for those um, two three people to come right here they're almost there already and then pushing through but as no one's there they actually managed to take off that kill on Udia right there but he ends up getting caught again by the Ashi ultimate and um, gets taken out but then Timo gets taken out Ashi also getting taken out as that worm was running right into her path and I think that should definitely be the end of the game now there should be absolutely nothing they can do not even if Shivana comes back I think that's the end of the game now it's four versus one well, with Shivana it would be two, but it's four versus one. Brand obviously doing a lot of damage with his ultimate there. Most of that went into Sivia, and they are good, starting to work their way down on the Nexus. So that's it from this week, guys. And um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. As I said, constructive criticism in the comments below. And yeah, that's it from me, guys. So um, next week, I've actually got something a little bit different in store for you. I'm going to start playing the other game modes, um, which is going to be all um, draft all mids and also all pick all mids so that's Adam and Apam which are also two very interesting game modes so um, yeah that's it from me guys for this week and I'm signing out so take care and I hope you enjoyed this episode